What's up guys, this is the Mad Review. Just going through the Nightfall, the Pyramidian. This is kind of a really freaking cool Nightfall. I enjoy this one. I've actually done this one like seven, eight times. Uh, we are sitting here with a pretty good team, and you can kind of see how we played through this one. Um, it, it was really interesting. Uh, they, they did a, a mix-up and change for some reason. We had already did the Nightfall this week. And came back, and I love it whenever they make unlimited grenades, and the art class on the Titan is just freaking amazing. I was like falling in love with with the freaking Warlock, and then now that I've got my Titan up, and I've leveled him almost all the way up. I think I'm at 303, almost at 304 with him. Uh, waiting for the weekly reset so I can grab my powerful legendary gear, maybe even run a raid to see what I can do. But um, th this one was pretty fun. This one was actually pretty fun. And this video is going to be a whole video based around the Nightfall this week. I know that what kind of sucked this week was that we did not have any trials. I was looking to get back in some trials. Um, I know that they've done released a lot of stuff about the upcoming Season 2 in Destiny. And I I'm interested... In a lot of that stuff, but I don't like having too many spoilers. I like to know that things are happening in the background, but I don't like to see too much of it because it takes away the special surprise or the special lidity, let me just say it like that, of the actual stuff that's coming. So, you know, it to me, I, I enjoy it more whenever, you know, it's, it's a surprise. You know, it's kind of like knowing what you're getting for your birthday or... For Christmas, it's not special, you know, so, but, you know, with that being said, you know, Iron Banner's coming back, and they're changing the way you purchase some of those items and stuff, and, you know, it's pretty cool, um, and, and how many of you guys, leave it in the comments below, enjoy whenever they let you have unlimited grenades, uh, I, I just, I freaking love it, man, I, I love it, um, I think that's my favorite Nine Falls to play, so, uh, yeah, leave it in the comments down below. What do you guys think of that? Um, here, we didn't skip any levels. I mean, we didn't run past anything. We wasn't too real worried about the timer. We already have Rat King. This is beat way, way ahead. So if you needed Rat King, this was the one to do, um, especially with a good fire team, one that can get your back and have support. Um, I, I'm not sure. I think we beat this with nine minutes i mean we played like six times so it was kind of like we were having so much fun we just kept going back and playing it and playing it and um yeah it was it was real fun uh so it and it and it didn't seem you know and a lot of people you know i've got a couple a couple friends that want to be carried through stuff like this and you know it's kind of not fair uh and and these are these are to the guys that want to be carried and this will probably get thumbs downs on the video, but, you know, quite frankly, I could give a shit less. But, you know, if if you want to play Nightfalls, you have to play Strikes to kind of know where the enemy sets are going to be. They're not the same enemies most of the time. They're even more powerful. But it does set your mind at ease. You know kind of what to expect, like right here with these lasers. Uh, you know what to expect, and it helps speed up your time responses. Uh, you you know what's around the corner. You know, it's not a freaking surprise whenever, you know, you come up and you run right through the lasers, and it just freaking obliterates you. Um, here I was trying to revive a buddy, and it didn't work out for me. He was kind of, uh, from what he said, he, I thought he said it was like he was under the area, but, you know, you got to try to get, go out there and support your guys, so... Um, I think I may die one or two times in this one. Uh, I'm not sure. There was one I, I don't think I died until we were at the boss and we did the like final hits. And I didn't want to include that one. Uh, this one here was a little earlier. This is probably our third game through. Um, just playing, having fun. And, it, and it's cool, you know, going through, keeping all three characters. I know a lot of people won't make three, but I, I like all three because it gives you the ability to switch and go in between if you want. Uh, so you're not just playing to play like we were here. You know, We were just playing to see what we could get, any kind of good drops. And I think I actually did get something that pumped me up a little bit. 
But, um, you know, I was working with my Titan, and I haven't given the Titan any love. I did not play with the Titan at all on Destiny 1. Uh, I played with a Hunter. And here it's, you know, it, it, I wished I would have played with the Hunter now. I mean, with the Titan. I'm sorry, with the Titan. You know, I don't know why the hell it says Hunter, but I played with the Hunter so much in Destiny 1 that, you know, it was just uh, commonplace, and I started a Hunter on Destiny 2. Um, enjoyed it until I got my hands on a warlock. And I was like, this freaking warlock is like the shit. You know, and, and so my favorite characters now are the warlock and the titan. I think those are the two most powerful characters in this game. So um, leave it in the comments below. What is your favorite character to play with in this game and why? That would be cool. So, uh, yeah, here, you know, it's it's almost just like we're just grounded pounding these guys, man. Um, you know, every now and again, one of my guys might get killed, you know, or something because they're going out there, balls to the walls, uh, pretty wild and open, uh, you know, and it's it's just fun, man. This These nightfalls here are just, they're really, really fun. And I don't know if Bungie really knows that this is this is the perfect, the perfect nightfalls. And, and I really enjoy those. Um, I don't really enjoy the time-extending nightfalls that well. I know a lot of people are always trying to find glitches in them, um, you know, to extend the times and shit like that. And, I, you know, to me, that's just more annoying than it is, you know, fun. Like, here it's like just bomb rush the hell out of them and just try to hurry up and get it done. Um, you know, you have max time you know you're not you're not stressing and you're not well did we miss one or are we going to have to play this seven eight times you know it, it, it's it's totally different you know it, it's a total different beast so you know with that being said it's it's just fun you know i don't know i don't know how else to describe it you know and these guys here we throw down a grenade we just run right on through them and these are another one of the lasers that i'm talking about you know, um, we've got a, a guy, like, I, I was shocked I got killed here. Um, I got st stuck on something there, and I couldn't jump, and I thought my timing was right. And this is coming from someone who plays the shit out of strikes and someone who's played this nightfall. I'd played this same nightfall, and here I was going the wrong direction because I'm not used to dying, uh, you know, around those lasers. So, you know, to me, it was it was one of those what the hell do I do here? You know, what, what am I doing wrong? And, and I got stuck on that same spot again right there, and it actually hurt me. Usually I'm one of the first ones through the lasers there. And up here, you know, everything was done dead, you know, by the time I got to it, which was a great fire team, you know. Um, here, I don't think I had too many problems with the lasers um, normally at all. Uh, I think I've been killed maybe a total of three times since I've played Destiny 2 with the lasers. Uh, and I know some people that just totally freaking hate them. Uh, and, and you know, it, it they're there. They're kind of annoying as hell. But, you know, it's, I guess it's part of the game. So we just keep rolling with it. And we, we pretty much just ground and pound the hell out of these guys. And I don't know why I put, put up a shield there. But maybe because I thought I was in trouble, going to die. Um, trying to hurry up and get this done. Um, my guys, man, they were they were all over me. You know, they were real good support. Um, here, I think I was communicating, going through here, and I love fucking John Elway, and that's what I call it, John Elway and those fucking grenades, man. I, I just, I don't know. I, I just it, love it. I love it. Um, here, I, I I don't think we had too much too much issues right in here um you know like i said you don't have too many issues you know once you you start gambling and doing the nightfalls uh once you start playing around with them uh, doing your strikes like you're supposed to um i recommend you know hitting a couple strikes every day you know that's a good way to stay fresh on them and i'm sure that we're going to have a lot of new strikes uh with season two stuff coming out um dlc i think they're aiming for december um, and that's one thing I'm really excited for. I'd like to see some new weapons, some new gear, uh, a new light level is another thing that I'm looking forward to. Uh, so, you know, with that being said, you know, it's going to make it very, very interesting. 
And I wanted to talk about this area right here. As you go down, as you start to descend into the pit, some people will shoot these guys. And what happens is sometimes these guys will follow you down into the pit, which is a very, especially in nightfall, it's a very, very bad idea. Uh, you know, uh, I've actually run into one one time, ran into one, and knocked him down, and it activated all of them, and I had three of them fall down on top of me, and I didn't know they were in here, like right there, the guy was in here. I don't know if he fell off the edge, but um, he, he actually came down in here with us, and I've seen one one time kill a guy that was with us, so that sucked. But here we was doing a different strategy with the boss. And, you know, he always teleports over to here. Uh, there, he's, you know, if you played this, of course, you know. He stands on, we have one guy that stands over there, and I give support. I try to always run over here to the right side when I can, popping up my shield for laser support so I don't get blasted by his freaking laser. Um, that's the most dangerous shit because we have grenades that's continuous. Just keep popping them down. Uh, just killing the ads as they spawn. Keep continuing giving support to that left-hand side. No matter. We were ahead of schedule. He jumped before I could even hit him with a rocket. Now here we go. Moving back to the right side. I'm going to give support to the left-hand side. And you can see that helps them out a lot. Because you can see a lot of these guys before they can even see them. So it, it, it helps out tremendously. So always try to offer that support. Once you get a, a couple kills, start working on your guys here. Uh, sometimes those freaking robots, they'll, they'll actually come in, you know. They'll, it doesn't matter if it's a monitor, you know. They'll walk right on top of you and just stomp the dog shit out of you. So, it, you know, you got to be careful. I keep my shield up because of his freaking laser and his fire that he shoots. Got a lucky hit right there with the rocket. We worked him pretty good. Um, and here's where I kind of screw up. Uh, I wanted to mention that. I run over here to the left side always. It's like a bad habit. Uh, he jumped. He went into his last phase. He's in the middle. His health, he's almost a third of the way down. Instead of popping a shield there, I should have went over to the right with everyone. Uh, we were all in the chat just talking. I'm trying to hurry up and get over there to office support because I do have the big shield. And then I start laying down the big shield here and throwing some grenades, trying to get the kills in, uh, trying to stop, you know, the enemies from getting on top of us. Uh, but, you know, like I said, this is one of the most fun moments that you have in Destiny. These are the moments that, that make memories with your friends when you play these games. And I'm just ground pounding the hell out of him with my super. We destroyed his ass nine minutes, three seconds. Uh, we actually beat that time earlier in a previous video, but there was no audio. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Leave a thumbs up. Let me know what's your best time on this one. Till next time, this has been The Mad Review. I'll catch you guys in my next video.